Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, how to build trust, trust with a high quality man. How to build, I'm, I'm thinking it should be trust like this or like this, well, and, and don't lean back. <laughs> really quickly, if this content, if after this video, this content resonates with you and you'd like to learn more about what I have to offer, check out the links in the description. I have an amazing group. I've got a free discovery call with me to see if working with the coach is right for you. I've got book recommendations. We got a lot to cover today. Okay, so how do we build trust, trust with that high quality man? What does that look like? I, I, I demonstrate it like this because I feel like trust is kind of a, a, a mutual thing. So let's talk about trust today. Everybody talks about how trust is so important in a relationship. And actually, trust is built by developing roots in the relationship, by developing roots. So trust takes time to build. OK, now. The difference between an average man and a high quality man, and what I mean by average man, is someone who hasn't healed childhood wounds and traumas, who is still in the midst of chaos in his life. It doesn't matter what you do, it's gonna be incredibly hard to build trust. When someone's life is in chaos, they're going through a divorce, they have a contentious ex, they've got issues with children, they've got issues with work, they've got health issues, they've got elderly parents. In other words, their time is consumed by the outside, well, not the outside world, but from your perspective, it looks like the outside world, but their, their world is in a bit of turmoil or chaos. It's incredibly difficult to build trust, to build those roots in relationship. But when you're with a high quality man who, and when I mean by high quality, he's emotionally available, he's emotionally mature, he's an emotional grown up. And watch my videos, I've got lots of video, videos on emotional maturity, so you can recognize that. And I even have a podcast called The Five Signs of Emotional Maturity on my podcast called The What Would Love Do Podcast. Let me ask you, have you listened to my podcast on Apple? Uh, there's a link below to my podcast. Check out The Five Signs of Emotional Maturity. You're definitely going to want to watch this or listen to it so you can get a sense of how that high quality man, that emotionally mature man shows up. But, and how do you build trust with them? Well, I said trust, I did a meme called trust is built in the light, in the light, in the light. In other words, the light shining, right? And in that light, trust is, uh, trust represents vulnerability, authenticity, and transparency. Vulnerability, authenticity, transparency. In other words, it's about speaking your truth to a man. Ladies, you so many of you are stuffing your feelings, you're stuffing your emotions because you're afraid you're going to lose a guy and you're not speaking your truth. And chapter one in my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? Chapter one is speak your truth, do it with kindness. Loving yourself is being able to speak your truth to anyone. Well, when I say to anyone, to anyone that matters to you. And there's another chapter in this book, when it's sincere and from the heart, you can never say the wrong thing to the right person. So I want you to lean into being vulnerable with someone. Now, it doesn't mean sharing secrets or giving away you know, your heart to someone, but it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to say, I'm scared. I'm nervous. I have insecurities. It's okay to say that. We men aren't going to shy away from that per se. If we feel like you're dependent upon us to heal your wounds, then yeah, we're going to run away because it's not our job to heal your wounds. It's our job to support you. But it starts by being vulnerable. And what that also means is leaning into authenticity. Authenticity means it's sincere. It's from the heart. It's not coming from this angry, agitated place of fear. And then transparency. Transparency means sharing your truth. The ladies, we build, when you demonstrate trust to us by being vulnerable, by being authentic, by being transparent, we it's leading by example. It invites us to do the same. And I'm going to tell you, listen, I work with a lot of women. 
I work with, I mean, every day, every week, I've got a number of clients. Many of them are in relationships. Many are also single and looking for love. And the ones in relationship, every time they call me up in a panic over something, I, I frame what they say to their guy. I'm teaching them how to frame things in a way that's seen, heard, and understood. And then all of a sudden, the guy responds back favorably. Because, and the reason why that is, is because it's sincere and from the heart. I'm able to, to reframe what's going on inside of you. So if you need help with that, schedule a discovery call. Because that's, I'm a master at that. But let me ask you, why are you so afraid? Why are you so afraid to speak to men that you care about? Please post a comment. Is it the fear of losing him? Because you can't lose the right person. Only if you sabotage it can you lose the right person. But that means you weren't the right person in relationship and you definitely need to be loving on yourself. This is one of the reasons why I recommend so many books to read. And if you haven't read the book Eight Dates by Dr. John Gottman, you got to check this out to learn how a healthy, happy relationship, how trust is built. You know, it's funny. Some woman wrote on a comment recently that, Jonathan, all you do is share books. You provide no value. And I'm like, ladies, let me ask you, have the books been helping? Have the books been helping? Because I like to think when we read and learn, we can, listen, we've we've been living in this fantasy that Hollywood is going to save us and Cinderella is going to, or Disney is going to save us in the world of relationship. And that's not true. You have to read and learn the mechanics of a healthy, happy relationship. Have you been doing that? Please post a comment below. Let me know if you have. Because that's here, what I'm here to invite you to do. How is trust built? With men, oftentimes it's leading by example. High quality men, here's the deal though. High quality men, they already lead, but they, they follow the four agreements. They follow their four agreements. They're impeccable with their word. They don't make projections. They don't make assumptions. And they do their best. The four agreements, high quality men, you don't have to worry about losing those guys. So if you want to build trust, lead by example. Trust is built in the light. Vulnerability, authenticity, and transparency. Is this landing for you? I hope it is. All right, if you found value in this and you do want to schedule a call to see if working with a coach is right for you, check out the link below to schedule a free discovery call. Check out my podcast. Uh, check out my book recommendations. And if you can't afford coaching, I've got a VIP group. Check out the link below to my VIP group. For $20 a month, you can have direct access to me through a Facebook page and a once a month webinar where you can ask questions over the phone. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch and wishing you a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.